Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio. Today we're going to be going over some CRM terms that every beginner needs to know. So there are a lot of terms out there that we hear about, but we might not know the definition to. Today we're going to go over several of those, starting off with dashboards. So dashboards are an area of CRM in which you can have information that usually resides on other pages or places on a single screen. So think of a dashboard like a pin board, a push pin board that you might have next to your desk in the olden days, or um, even just like a dashboard on a car. You're gonna have information that's distinct and separate all on one single screen, saving you the time from having to go click around. Let's say one of those items on the dashboard is all of my accounts that exist inside of Illinois. I'd have that as one of my dashboard elements or components, but I might also have another dashboard component with everybody whose contract is expiring in the next 60 days. Now what I could do is go to two separate areas of CRM in order to get this information. I could do a quick search um, for all of our customers in Illinois, for example, or I could pull a report of all of the customers whose contracts are expiring, but I'd rather have it in a single location, saving me the time and effort of having to click around inside of CRM. So dashboards can be really effective in helping your day go more efficiently and not looking around in the system for that information on its own. You can define your own dashboards in CRM, but most CRM systems come with predefined dashboards that are pretty good and you can manipulate those to use them um, more specifically to what you need to see. So they're really helpful and usually you'd establish a dashboard after using a CRM system or new CRM, maybe after 30 days or so when you can determine what you need on that dashboard. So another term that we like to reference a lot is entity. So you're gonna hear that word a lot within CRM and an entity is a distinct data set or group of records and so I might have confused you even more. What that means is that we have accounts, we have contacts, we have cases which are trouble tickets or issues, and we have sales opportunities inside of CRM. Each of those is considered an entity so they have their own record sets. All accounts have their own records and so account is an entity. Inside of accounts we have fields so we have accounts and they might have a phone number that would be a field on the account entity. We might also have a field called rating where you'd like to rate your customers. That would be a field on the account entity as well. So we differentiate the various parts of CRM by using the term entity. You'll need to know this if you go to customize CRM, add information or fields, or even move the form or screens around. Another term is grid. So when we're looking inside of CRM, we're gonna see information kind of an Excel-like format. That's called a grid. So whenever you see a list of items, let's say those are my active accounts inside the system, you'll see that as a list form that looks like Excel or a CSV sheet, consider that a grid. If you need to modify something, you'll be modifying a grid. And lastly, label. So a label is the way a field is displayed. So we might have a field called rating that we have on the account entity inside of CRM. And that label on the field is rating. However, in the background or back end of the system, there might be another term used to describe the field. And a programmer or developer might use that field to reference it. You can usually most always change a label though. So let's say we decide to change rating to grade. We can do that by simply changing a label on a field. For more CRM terms and definitions, click the link to download our free white paper. Thanks and bye. It's Miriam Florio, and today we're going to be going through Microsoft Dynamics 365 buzzwords. So there are a lot of words out there that people use when they're talking about CRM, and I want to address those words and hopefully clarify it so it's a little bit easier.